morning, Kinder friends. My name is Mrs. Williams, and I'm going to be your teacher today. Did you know that we all have an invisible bucket? Who can tell me what invisible means? I like your quiet hand. That's right. Invisible means we can't see it, but it's there. So our objective is going to be to compare and contrast bucket fillers and bucket dippers. Who remembers what compare and contrast means from our lesson on butterflies and moths last week? That's right. We're going to be looking at how they're the same and how they're different. So, I am going to read you a very special book. It's a favorite of Mrs. Williams. Have you filled a bucket today? A guide to daily happiness for kids. And who remembers what the person who writes the story is called? That's right. Author. The author is the one who writes the story. Who does the pictures? Thank you for your quiet hand. That's right, the illustrator. Have you filled a bucket today? A guide to daily happiness for kids. All day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. You can't see it, but it's there. You have a bucket. Each member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents, friends, and neighbors all have a bucket. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel very happy and good when your bucket is full. And you feel very sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket. And this is how it works. You need other people to fill your bucket. And other people need you to fill theirs. So how do you fill a bucket? You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says or does nice things that make others feel special. When you make someone feel special, you are filling a bucket. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That's being a bucket dipper. A bully is a bucket dipper. A bucket dipper says or does mean things that make others feel bad. Many people who dip have an empty bucket. They think they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's, but guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. You feel good when you help others feel good. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your mom and dad, why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their bucket right up. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket. And think of what you can say or do to fill it. Here are some ideas for you. You could smile and say hi to the bus driver. He has a bucket too. You can invite the new kid at school to play with you. You could write a thank you note to your teacher. You could tell your grandpa that you'd like to spend time with him. There are many ways to fill a bucket. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. It doesn't cost any money. It doesn't take much time. 
And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school, and your neighborhood better places to be. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. So, why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by saying to yourself, I'm going to do something to fill someone's bucket today. And at the end of the day, ask yourself, did I fill a bucket today? Yes, I did. That's the life of a bucket filler. And that's you. So, who can tell me what it means to be a bucket filler? Right over there. That's right. You're someone who says and does nice things. So, I'm going to write bucket filler on our paper right here. when someone does nice things for us. That's right, we feel happy. So I'm going to make a happy bucket right here. What was the other person the story talked about? A bucket dipper. That's right. B a k f dipper. How do we feel when someone does mean things to us? That's right, we feel sad. So I'm going to make a sad bucket. Now, I want you to think of some things you can do to be a bucket filler. What are some nice things you can do to make people happy? Right over there, you're sitting so nice. What's your idea? That's right, we can say nice things. Share. Sharing is great. Sharing always makes me happy. What else can we do? Hugs. Hugs are very nice. Hugs for family. Hugs for close friends. What about if someone new is here? We could play with them. We can invite them to play with us on the playground. dippers do. What do they do that make you feel sad? Right over there. Say mean things. I know I don't like it when people call me mean names. What else? Push or hit. That's right. We do not push or hit. What's one more? Oh, when someone ignores you on the playground. I know, that makes me sad too when someone says I can't join their game. So, now that we have our list of a couple different ideas, I have a little invisible bucket experiment for you. So if someone came along and they were, they called me mean names and they pushed me and they ignored me on the playground, how would I feel? Sad. So, on this little guy, I'm going to make a sad face because he's been with a bucket dipper. And do you think his bucket's full or empty? Empty. So what's going to happen if I put him in an empty bucket with nothing to hold him up? He sinks right to the bottom. Sometimes when people are sad, they say they feel low or down. So, how does someone feel if someone does all these nice things to them? They're going to feel happy. So on our next friend, I'm going to make a happy face. Put him right here. And then for each of the nice things you said, I'm going to add a scoop of happiness. So this is powdered happiness. So we said, say nice things. So I'm going to put a scoop of happiness in this bucket. We said, share. We said, hugs. And we said, play with others. So I'm going to 
give that happiness a stir. Looks kind of pretty, huh? So what do you think is going to happen when I put our friend into a bucket that's full? Who has a good prediction? Yeah, he might flow. Yep, he floated right to the top. Because happiness builds us up. Sometimes people who are happy say that they're light as a feather, walking on clouds. So which bucket would you rather have? Would you have the empty one of our sad egg or the happy one that's full? Full. I would too. I would much rather have a happy bucket. So, let's see if we met our objective. Did we find out what a bucket filler is? Yeah? Let's check that off. Get your sky riders. Check. Did we find out what a bucket dipper is? What is it? That's right. So let's check it off. Check. All right. So I'm going to look for my best row to dismiss to go to centers, and we're going to have some worksheets. Thank you.